Hello guys, my name is Tara from Tara Arts Movie and welcome to another exciting 3D Studios Max tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you um, a third-party plugin for rendering called V-Ray. So V-Ray is basically a third-party plugin that allows you to render uh, the 3D objects on your 3D Max to look more realistic. Alright, so... Um, let's just get started before before we get started um, I'm gonna teach you a little bit about the shortcut on 3d studios max so in 3d studios max to zoom in you just have to scroll your middle mouse up and to zoom out you just have to scroll your mi your middle mouse scroll down and then to move it like so with the hand tool all you're gonna do is click your middle mouse scroll and hold it and move it around left right up and down and to rotate the camera and etc all you're gonna do is hold alt while you also click and hold and move the middle scroll of your mouse so hold alt and middle scroll the mouse together and move it around just like so so that's basically the basic thing and then uh, you need to have V-Ray and install it after you install it all you gotta do is in 3D Studios Max, you're gonna press F10, brings up the common here for the uh, renderer and etc. And then go down here, and for the assigned renderer, you're gonna change it from default scanline renderer into V Ray. Alright, so we're done. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna set the scene. Alright, so now we're gonna make some plane this is the um, this is just uh, regular plane from standard primitives so click and drag it just like so if you want to make it uh, large you can set the length and width to be large but we can, uh, we're gonna try to use a V-Ray plan so we're gonna delete this by click delete we're gonna go change it from standard primitives to V-Ray and then choose V-Ray Plan and click wherever you want. V-Ray Plan is looks pretty small, but if you render it by press F9 to render and look at it, as you can see here, V-Ray Plan is actually a very large plan. It's unlimited. It's, it's you know, yes, unlimited through the horizon here, as you can see. So it's a good. I think we're gonna use that. For now, all right. So um, that's sphere plan. We're gonna leave it there, and we're gonna change it from V-Ray to standard primitives again. We we gotta use teapot here. So for the teapot, we're gonna click, hold, and drag it up to make a teapot, and then maybe rotate it using a rotated rotation tool, just a little bit like so. And as you can see here, if we zoom in, you can see that this teapot is in a low segment, so it's kind of grungy like so and all you're gonna do is go to modify and set the segments up around 15 or so now if you render it the teapot is already smooth now this image when you render it it looks ridiculous I mean it's like a cartoon it's not realistic actually even it's like a retarded version of cartoon because there's no shadow and light and etc so uh, that's what we are going to do we gotta make a light and etc so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna make a material we're gonna set a material to the object but before that maybe you're gonna right click on around here on the up left of the perspective view right click and show save frames or you just gonna simply press shift and F there you go so this is basically the looks for your rendering all right, so there you go. And then the next thing you want to do, you're gonna press M for material. So it brings up this uh, six balls here. Uh, this is basically represent the materials. So click one of them, and then click the standard here. Click that, and choose V-Ray material. Find V-Ray material, like this. Click that. And then uh, we're just gonna drag it first to the teapot, and then the diffuse 
maybe I'm gonna change the diffuses for the color by the way um, maybe I'm gonna make my t my typo to be blue okay and then for the reflect reflection maybe a little bit so if it's on black I mean it got no reflection at all if it's white it's so it's got a uh, lot of reflection so yes as you know there you go okay and then there you go if you render this now as you can see the tip the teapot is already has a color which is blue and also got a nice um, reflection but it's still not look, look realistic and for the V-Ray plan we're gonna make a new one standard fear material again and for the color maybe I'm gonna use uh, you know I love this color for the plane and then the reflection maybe just a little bit All right so the brownish color for the plane click and drag it to the plan there you go you can try to press F9 again to render it and look, look at the result. Alright, maybe a little bit for the reflection for the floor. Now if you render it, nice. Alright, maybe we're gonna hold down shift and then make sure you uh, select and move here. Just click that, select and move, hold down shift and just drag the teapot so we have now two teapots make sure it's copy not instance copy okay and select and rotate we're gonna rotate it just like so and mo for the second teapot we gotta press M for material we're gonna make it like a glass teapot you know so standard fury material and we're gonna make it like like a, like a glass. So for diffuse, we're gonna make it white. For the reflect, we're gonna make it just a little bit of reflection, okay? And then for the refraction, maybe we're gonna ooh set this up. If you wanna see what it looks like, just uh, click here, background, and double click it. There you go. Use the material. Just click and drag it to the second Z part. And it already, uh, as you can see, it's three see through. As you can see here, press F9 to see that. There you go. It already looks like a glass. All right. Now, the last thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna add some lights. So we're gonna go to create. This is geometry. We're gonna choose lights, and we're gonna change it from photometric to V-ray, and choose V-ray light. And then we're gonna create a V-ray light from the top view over here. Click and drag it, like so. And select and move. And from the front or the left view, it'll be the same. Just move it up. And try to render it to see how it looks like. And as you can see here, guys, we already have a nice looking um teapot here this is the um, glass one and this is the teapot one so um one thing um the as you can see here the teapot on the right side is um made is uh, made of glass so sometimes a glass is uh having some caustic uh lighting so I hope you understand. I'm sorry, my English is not so good. So all you're gonna do to make it more realistic, if you have some glass in your scene, uh, you're gonna press F10 and go to V-Ray, and then go to um, oh no 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 not V-Ray, indirect illumination for me here. Uh, I'm using 3ds Max 2012. Maybe if you you use the previous version it will be different for example for my this is Fire, maybe yours is render or whatever that is illumination and find Fire caustics and just click on here and that's it if you click F9 now it will take a little time to render 
but it should give a more realistic result of the image. See? Look at that glowy um, lighting for the glass. So it, it looks more realistic. Alright guys, so this is basically about V-Ray uh, renderer. It makes uh, everything looks more realistic. And now I'm gonna be teaching you um, to make all of this looks m even more realistic by using HDRI image. So uh, this is like putting uh, uh, two teapots on the you know just a plain and a back black background basically but if you put the teapot which is as a reflection at etc inside a room and you know having a reflection of the room maybe the teapot uh, could look more realistic so I'm gonna I'm just gonna save this um, teapot JPEG I'm gonna save it as teapot V-Ray regular save it okay and then let's try um, oh yeah by the way this is this image is only high quality image if you want to make it HD you're gonna uh, press F10 and go to common and here you go output size custom you're gonna change it to HD video if you want to render it out as HD image but if you just want to preview it maybe a smaller amount should be good but if you want to render it out just click this HD and if you if you press F9 it will render as HD alright so this is the V-Ray um, regular V-Ray uh, rendering now we're gonna try to render it using HDRI image so um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Google and go to Google image and just type in HDRI enter and you will find lots of you know maybe you're gonna see this image kind of weird you know because this is supposed to be like a spherical image but they make it um, not spherical so it looks funny but that's you're gonna want to use so I use this for example just click it and you can download it it's like an office it's look pretty good for, for a room you're gonna right click and save the image now back to 3ds Max um, you're gonna press M for material and choose another one the new one and click standard here and go to um, oh, I'm sorry for the Fiora HDRI you're gonna click the material and press G means get material G for get material so find Fiora HDRI double click it and for the bitmap you're gonna browse the file that you downloaded it doesn't matter I have the HDRI HDR file here not not maybe if you download it from Google it will be JPEG or etc but it doesn't matter actually just click and open it and then what you're gonna do you're gonna set this from angular to spherical make sure it's spherical and you can double click it to see if it's not spherical it's like so really weird looking so you may you must make it spherical so it it looks fine and then as you can see here the exit sign is kinda messed up so I'm gonna flip it um, vertically horizontally just just try try um, try it out I think this is good this is the good side of the I wanna see here and then you're gonna press F10 and you go to V-Ray maybe if you are on the previous version of the here maybe it should say renderer or something like that you're gonna go to V-Ray environment there you go and make sure that you check this out the reflection refraction environment node right and click the map here the material click and drag it to the none here and you choose instance make sure you, should, you choose instance and OK and you can just close this and maybe if you want to render it with some background 
you're gonna go to rendering environment also copy this to the environment map okay uh, and if you think your image is too dark you can go to gamma and set the gamma up gamma up as you can see here really good now all you're gonna do is press F9 and see the result all right all right so it it's already just finished rendering and as you can see here we got a very uh, this looking very very realistic this two teapot especially the glass one as you can see here all right so that is the difference between a uh, regular v-ray and v-ray hdri so guys i'm just gonna save it um v-ray hdri so guys my name is tara it's from d1 tara from tara arts movie and thank you for watching this tutorial i i really hope you find this useful and you can use it for your project and etc and uh yeah see you in the in the cool in the next cool videos and tutorials ciao